What's going on? This is your boy Rook here on the Rook Toy Hunting Journey. I haven't did a toy hunt since San Diego Comic Con 2019. It's been far too long since my last toy hunt. I took a look at my old videos to make sure that was indeed my last hunt and it was in fact my last toy hunt. But today is a very important day because we get not one but two big release dates of stuff in the geek and pop culture community. We get of course New York Comic Con 2019 releases and of course Triple Force Friday. Now as far as what I'm looking for today, what I'm going out hunting for is really really only one specific item for Funko, and that is the two-pack for FYE. It's the Jay and Silent Bob, the Blunt Man and Chronic two-pack, leading up to their new movie. I want to get my hands on that because I love Jay and Silent Bob, I love Kevin Smith, and I have to get that two-pack at FYE. The other item I'm trying to track down, I've been looking, I've been staying up at night, I looked at it yesterday, rather, take a step back, I looked for it yesterday, and that is the Dwight with Dwight Bobblehead Office special Funko Pop that's exclusive now, we found out yesterday, to Amazon. Amazon is what's selling this particular item, which is this guy right here. The problem is, I checked a look at it yesterday, it did not come out for early release. It did not drop at 9 p.m. like people thought it would be yesterday, as far as recording of this video, and it didn't happen, which would be Thursday night. Um, and of course, at midnight, on Thursday, it did not drop, and I stayed up for about an hour past that. It still was not available. I took a look at it early in the morning today. It's still not available. The link is working now, but it still was not yet up as purchasable on Amazon. You can see the product. It just says unavailable, so it tells me they haven't put the stock up yet for that particular item. I want that item very, very badly. Those are really only Funko items I want. There's going to be a Star Wars item that's going to be happening at the end of this uh, weekend, which is where the Star Wars stuff for Funko for The Rise of the Skywalker will be debuting. Speaking of Rise of the Skywalker, we have Triple Force Friday, and I'm looking for a particular set of items, a few things, which is the white packaging of the Black Series. Yes, it sounds very, very odd for me to say that. These are new type of figures that they normally have not yet released um, in the market. First edition figures. They call it first edition. It's white packaging. It looks just like the Black Series figures, but they're just white boxes. Identical when it comes to the figure, the sculpt, the accessories. Everything is identical except the packaging. So it's first edition. Then they have specialized ones at certain stores are getting specialized versions of figures in a different packaging and a different paint variant. At Target, which I'm at right now, as far as recording this particular portion of the video, I'm waiting to get in, uh, they want their particular carbonized Mandalorian figure, which is this guy right here. That's what I want very, very badly. I might get the Ray, the Ray figure, because it's the main protagonist of the Star Wars new trilogy. I don't know about Kylo Ren. I'm not a fan of his character, so I'm not sure about him. I want the figure I want the Mandalorian absolutely that's what I'm tracking for and the real big thing I want to get my hands on I didn't know about until about a day ago before shooting this video is this guy right here right there it's the clone commander Fox it's a red clone commander I didn't even know he was coming out he's exclusive to GameStop it's supposed to be happening at Triple Force Friday so sit back enjoy there's gonna be a little bit longer toy hunt guys and hopefully Rook can find something Woo! pretty cool on both New York Comic Con 2019 weekend and Triple Force Friday Friday. Stay tuned guys, hunting on the way. Alright guys, I'm at my first Target, the one I started the video on, and I picked some stuff up. We had to crack it out of the cases. I didn't, don't want to show you me trying to rip boxes apart. I want to show you what I picked up. So I'm going to spin the camera around and put it on a shelf so you can see what we have to offer here. So take a look here. We got the special Futura Bill Boba Fett here. Uh, price point for this guy was 18 bucks. It does come in this case that you see here. It's sold out online. I think they only made a small variety. I think they made 1,500 of these guys, but I could be wrong. But this is Boba Fett. This is the Futura wave. Uh, some artist decided to help build this one, so it looks good. We have the Mandalorian. Oh, woo! This is the carbonized Mandalorian. They only had one box of him. This is the, the coppery color one. This is one that everyone has been looking for. Uh, great looking figure. Happy to get this guy. Looks great. The brand new Ray figure I decided to pick up because I have a couple Rays already. And I figured this will work well. Maybe doing an evolution based video showing all the Ray figures from all the movies. How she's changing and evolving through all her characters. Characterization rather. And of course the last Ray Funko right here. So these are the items I'm picking up at this Target. I'm going to be heading out to another Target. Hopefully we find some rather cool stuff. So stay tuned guys. More hunting on the way.
And at that same Target, they have a small little display of some of the Funko stuff here. Off the other stuff we saw on that uh, row. The new uh, Sith Trooper looks pretty good. This is the Sith Jet Trooper, which is a different character. So, um, that character, Zori Bliss, is going to have some type of big role in the new Star Wars movie. Uh, Lieutenant Connix, who's this new character, I'm not quite sure. We got Finn. We got Jana, who's the girl who uses the bow. And you have all three figures down there. All right, guys, I'm looking at that same exact target. I went over to the Funko section, and I noticed a couple, really one thing. I want you guys' opinion on it. I don't know if I'm really settled on it or not, but it's this guy right here. Oh, here we go. The 80th anniversary Batman box um, for Funko. I don't know the price of this. I'm probably going to guess it's probably $25. Um, I don't know if I want to get it, but here are the contents. I'll kind of spoil it for you. So here's what's in this box. We have a 1989 Batman. You have a toothpick holder, which, eh, a deck of playing cards, some socks, and a Batman Beyond and Batman Hero World. Uh, let me spin back around here. What do you think, guys? Is this worth it? Should I pick this up? Let me know in the comment section of this video. There we go. Uh, should I grab this guy or not? I'm not going to pick it up for right now. Let me know. More hunting on the way. Okay, guys, your boy Rook here at Target number two. Um, they have a decent display setup compared to the other one. I'm going to show you what it looks like and the two figures I'm picking up here. Let me spin around to the display so you can see what it looks like. It's a very cool looking display. Uh, you basically put your hand here and you get Kylo's blade that opens. You put your hand here and you get Ray's blade that ignites. Very cool effect. Here's a little display they have here if you wanted to see what it would look like. That's a new Dio droid. I'm picking up two figures here. Uh, I'm going to get myself a Mandalorian, which is this one. And I didn't talk about this one. I talked about him on a stream, which is Cal Kestis. He's the guy who's part of the new Fallen Order game is coming out. He's the actor who did the voice cap, the, actually the voiceover, and I think the motion cap, of who played the main Joker character in Gotham. So I want to get him as well. He has a neat little droid. I think this droid hooks up to his backpack, as, a, as you can use him as a... As a like a as a like a backpack itself i know it sounds weird and be stumbling a little bit but i'm very happy to get this guy into the collection very cool looking figure so we're going to get both these guys right here so both the mandalorian and the normal black series which i have the carbonized now hold on for it Woo! happy to get them and of course we have cal kestis right here so uh more toy hunting on the way swinging over to the mall I'm gonna hit fye stay tuned guys more hunting coming soon. Okay, guys, I'm at FYE right now, and I picked up one item. That is the Jay and Silent Bob, or the Bluntman and Chronic 2-pack. Uh, it's based off of the new Kevin Smith movie. I think it's called Jay and Silent Bob Redux, which is sort of a remake of their Jay and Silent Bob Strike Backs that came out in the mid-90s, I want to say. Uh, but I wanted to pick up this one. I do like Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. I thought it would be a cool item to pick up. Uh, price point for this guy was $25 US, which is cheaper than normally. It's supposed to be 30 I had a gift card for about 7 bucks. I used it towards this. So this is about $20 US for me. I'm very happy to get this guy into the collection. Just say Blunt Man right there. Apologies. Try to hold him up one hand while I shoot video. Looks pretty good. Uh, again, Blunt Man right there. Uh, so yeah, 20 bucks for this guy. That's it for the Funko portion of the hunt. I'm going to try to get my hands on that Clone Commander Fox later today. So hopefully, but fingers crossed guys, Woo! I can get my uh, hands on that bad boy. Stay tuned. Hopefully the last bit of the hunt is going to be coming up shortly. Alright guys, just got out of one of the last game stops finally. I uh, did not get the Clone Trooper Fox yet. That's hopefully later today. But I did pick up two more figures. <sighs> I feel sorry for my wallet today, guys. Let me spin around so you can take a look at it. It's the Carbonize Second Sister, which I wasn't even probably going to pick up. I decided, you know what, they had one. The box was good on this one. The last one I saw was really beat up. That's number 95. And you can see it's very, very shiny coming off of the camera. That's because it's metallic looking. Uh, this is just like the Second Sister, but the packaging is in the Carbonized and the paint variant is different. But everything else, accessories, all other stuff inside of it are identical. Then I got the first edition Sith Trooper. I wasn't going to pick this one up. This is the last one I had here. If you see that big sticker, first edition. This is what people are really looking for. You can see a drastic difference between the packaging. As you can see right here, let me put it over here so you can get a better look at it. Um, the packaging is much different, comparatively speaking. Yes, it's the carbonized version, but this is very striking on, on the shelf. It's, it's white. Um, for a Black Series figure as being a white packaging, something completely different. And it is right there. I wasn't going to pick this guy up, but I figured, you know what, it's the last one I have. How many times, let's spin back around here, how many times, how often can I actually go and pick something like this up? So I figured, you know what, the hell with it, I'll take the $50 investment, let me pick these guys up, and hopefully one other stop today, and that will be it for the toy hunt. Woo! 
See you soon, guys. All right, guys, the last hunt for today is complete. I am done for today. New York Comic Con 2019 and Triple Force Friday is done. And of course, the last thing I picked up, of course, I talked about them, was Clone Commander Fox. Woo! This is the red and white Clone Commander. Uh, looks very, very cool. This is a GameStop exclusive. You can't get it anywhere else but GameStop. Price point was $22 and change. Uh, looks very, very cool. Back of the packaging. I'll be showcasing everything off on the full hunt and a wrap-up portion of the video. So, yes, GameStops, check the local GameStops. They will be supporting this figure, Clone Commander Fox. Stay tuned, guys. Wrap-up of the toy hunt will happen right now. All right, guys. New York Comic Con 2019 and Triple Force Friday are both complete for this toy hunt. Whew, it was a long, long day. Very happy with the stuff I picked up. I spent way too much money on this toy hunt. More money on the Black Series stuff than the Funko stuff. Let's actually do a wrap up here of all the stuff we picked up. I did get the at uh, FYE, the FYE exclusive, the James Allen Bob, the Blunt Man and Chronic two pack. Uh, price point, if you were curious, was uh, normally twenty five dollars. It was cheaper than the thirty dollar price tag, which I thought it would be. Uh, but I'm very happy to grab this one here, especially with the new James Allen Bob movie coming up in a couple weeks. It does showcase the Fall Convention stick right there again price point $25 very happy to get this guy for the collection love Kevin Smith love Jason Mewes happy to get it then of course we got some very cool uh, Funko stuff based off of Star Wars uh, first we have the Mandalorian pop number 326 very cool looking pop. This is off the new TV show that's going to be debuting on the Disney streaming uh, service, but it looks very, very cool. I'm going to be doing a, a little bit of an unboxing on a, on a stream in a couple days to showcase this guy off. He does look very, very cool. Very happy to get it. Again, uh, pop number 326 for The Mandalorian, so it looks very, very cool. It's going to be a bobblehead. I know that. I'm not too worried about that. Next, I did a video um, a while ago. I think I, when I first started my channel, it was the evolution of Bubba Fett. I want to do the same sort of video down the road with Ray. I want to do an evolution of Ray series of all the figures that I have of Ray as she progressed through the story arc of the Star Wars new three movies. So I think this will be a very cool pop to showcase this off. This is her in her kind of really badass form when she gets all her Jedi training basically done. Uh, this is number 307 and this is it, this is sporting the new packaging they're using for the new uh, Funko Pops for this new uh, Rise of the Skywalker movie. So it looks really really cool. Then I picked something up that I wasn't really thinking I was going to buy. I was debating picking it up, and that was the Futura. Boba Fett. I don't think you can really see it. It's kind of coming off a little bit weird with the glare. Uh, this comes pre-sealed in its own Funko case. Uh, the price point is not cheap with these guys. They're $18, but they look very, very cool. Uh, these shouldn't have dropped until the weekend. They sold out immediately online. I think they only made 1,500 of these guys. I think I could be wrong, but this is like an artist rendition of Boba Fett. It's a different sort of a uh, paint variant of what Boba Fett normally looks like. It looks really cool. I love the way it looks. It's number 297. It is in its own case so looks very very cool and at that target where I picked that Bubba Fett up they had only one case of the carbonized Mandalorian but I also picked up a normal Mandalorian as well so we got both the Mandalorian and the carbonized Mandalorian so you can see kind of the difference of what they look like of course here's this Mandalorian and here's this Mandalorian so this is a normal uh, typical black series packaging hopefully you're not picking up too much glare from it which you probably are from my camera that's a very good shot right there that might be the thumbnail mm, maybe I don't know yet I'm gonna grab another one I might put them both in the shot so we'll see here but uh, you can see the difference between both figures uh, this guy is not going cheap online now I've seen him anywhere from 60 to 80 dollars on eBay he does look very very cool packaging looks very very nice it's they call even call it carbonized graphite right here on the little sticker so I wanted to get this guy but I want to unbox this one and display this one and keep this one mint on card that's the idea but I'm very happy to get both these figures into my collection I think they're very, very cool. Uh, then I talked about the uh, Kyle Kestis, which is the guy who played uh, the Joker character from the, well, the Joker-esque character from Gotham. Uh, this guy right here. Uh, it's based off the new Fallen Jedi Order. It's called the Jedi Fallen Order, rather. Uh, he has this little robot right here. I talked about it in the video. Uh, he wears it, like, on his back. So I don't know if you can, if you can kind of squish the robot down and attach it to him. I, I don't know that until we unbox him, so I have no clue, but he looks good. He's their Jedi, so he looks very, very cool. Very happy to get this guy for the collection. And moving on, let's put Cal Kestis aside. That was number uh, 93, if you were curious. 
Moving on, we had, I wanted to get the Ray figure. I'm probably gonna do maybe an evolution as well with the new Ray figure. This is using the new face scan technology. Uh, it looks good, that's a new DO droid. She no longer has uh, BB-8, which she had one of her first release figures for Force Awakens. She came packaged with a BB-8 figure. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, it looks very similar to the other way we've, the other Ray we have had before. She even has her staff weapon right there as well as Luke's lightsaber. So I make the assumption probably somewhere during, sometime in the Force Awakens, in the uh, new uh, Rise of Skywalker movie, she gets the lightsaber repaired because she broke it at the end of The Last Jedi. So hopefully they do something cool to bring her lightsaber back. But it's typical uh, Black Series packaging. Uh, I like the way it looks here. Uh, this will be a very interesting figure to do an unboxing for. So definitely keep your eyes open for that set of videos. Uh, next, we got something pretty cool. I showed a little bit in the video. We got the First Order Sith Trooper First Edition. Um, actually, it's called the Sith Trooper, not First Order. This is a Sith Trooper. This is the First Edition of Sith Trooper. Anytime you see this white packaging here, that designates the First uh, edition of this figure. So it sort of trumps the normal Black Series figure as far as collectability goes. So if you ask me as far as collectability, how they would stack up, this would be the most expensive, which would be the carbonized one. Then you would have this one here, and then you would have your typical Black Series figure like this. So that would be the sort of the pecking order as far as collectability goes. Where would you put that on the ladder as far as value and collectability? I would say the carbonized ones, then the first edition ones, than your standard Black Series figures. That's how I would normally judge it. But uh, I was I was on the fence about this one. This was the only one I had at GameStop in my local mall. And I said, you know what, let me pick it up. I might flip it on eBay. I have not yet decided. Um, these things are not cheap. I think they go between $30 and $40. Normal price points for these guys, I believe, were typical, I think they're 20, 22, I think they're 20 bucks for these guys. I know the carbonized ones, I keep grabbing this guy over here. I should just leave them on my table. The carbonized ones, these sell absolutely for $25 because these are paint variants. This is not the same, it's the same sculpt, but the paint variant and a different packaging based off of the standard figure we saw here, which was this one. So they look a little bit different as I showcased earlier. The, the, the paint apps is different between these two figures. So uh, take, that what, 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 take that with what you will um, as far as value goes. But I would say this guy, then this guy, and then lastly, this guy, as far as collectability goes. So make that decision for yourself. Uh, the number on this one was 92 on the Sith Trooper. So he does look pretty cool as a red Stormtrooper. So neat sort of design. Next, I picked up another carbonized, which was the Second Sister. I, I wasn't gonna pick her up at GameStop, but I decided, you know what? They had a few left, they're not cheap. Again, as far as collectability goes, if you're trying to flip it on, let's say online from the secondary market, these are ones that you'd wanna get your hands on. And I don't know if you'd wanna sell them right now or wait a little bit before you offload them because everyone's gonna be buying them and dumping them right now. So if you pick some of these up and you have, you have the intention of selling it on the secondary market on let's say eBay or Amazon, hold off for about a month or two. Uh, the price would probably start going back up because these will be circulating out of the market. I believe when I picked this guy up here at Target, they only had one per case, uh, excuse me, one per store and it was only six figures in a case. So it might be very limited as far as what you can get. So they're calling these guys chase figures as well. Uh, there's no chase sticker on it. I don't believe they're quote unquote chase. Since the entire box had those carbonized figures, I would say they're all the same as far as rarity goes. Now, last thing I picked up, I talked about it, was Clone Commander Fox. This is a GameStop exclusive figure. He dropped on Force Friday. They had three of them that came into a GameStop. I saw, saw several different GameStops, didn't even know this figure existed. So I think this is going to be very, very cool. I think the thumbnail is going to be this right here. Woo! That's our thumbnail, guys. I think this right here is our thumbnail. If we're trying to get a good shot right about there. Bang, there we go, guys. So that's the uh, thumbnail for the video. So uh, very happy to get both of these guys into my collection. I am going to be doing stuff with the clone troopers. I I've talked about it a while ago. Just to end this video, um, this guy here is going to go in sort of a diorama I'm going to build. I'm probably going to uh, make a video step by step of how I put this thing together of all my, cl my named clone troopers in this sort of diorama set. And he's going to be a piece of it as well. A red trooper I think looks awesome. It is basically just a repaint of looks like uh, Commander Cody because if you look at that visor it looks like Commander Cody's visor just maybe with a remold a little bit but looks really similar to Commander Cody especially the back of the packaging it screams Commander Cody to me uh, but I think it looks really really good. This is if you notice there is not a number here meaning it's a store exclusive. If you ever see it like um, for example if you ever see a, a special figure that has no number like this guy here 
That means it's exclusive to that particular store. This one here, it's a, it's a, this one is a Target exclusive, but it's, re re it's redoing the packaging of the Mandalorian. That's why this one is not a blank number like this one is right here. So that's how you would know if you have a figure that is exclusive to a store, there is no number affiliation for it. It's a one-off for that store. So I hope you like my New York Comic Con 2019 and Triple Force Friday video. Remember to click the like button, click the subscribe button. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be notified of my latest videos. Of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video. And bye-bye.